contamination risks uh, do we face by going down into this crypt? Bacteriological problems, fungs, uh, and maybe arsenic. Arsenic? Yes, arsenic. Why? Why? Because uh, a crime, uh, I think. Could be used for poisoning. Maybe, I think so. The church records show that a total of 255 bodies were placed here in this tomb, uh, starting from the beginning of the construction of the church right up until 1834, when uh, burials were prohibited in churches and religious edifices. Um, we have a little over 75 or 78 bodies here right now. During the pillage that took place after the earthquake of 1755, uh, robbers came down and actually hacked the bodies to pieces, broke open the coffins, hacked the bodies to pieces to extract gold and silver that these, um, these family members were, uh, were wearing. So we have to put it in his mouth? It's a little cross. Wow, look at that. It's like another little girl. All of the handles here are made out of brass or bronze. Um, the lock is lined with um, with a, a cloth that is is made of um, s silver or gold wire. So it, it, we're looking at somebody again from the uh, higher higher class of nobles, aristocrats. We're looking at 1819. Uh, the hands on this mummy are very malleable. They're very similar to, to our hands or the hands of an elderly person uh, living today. The fact that we have people from different age groups here, uh, children, adolescents, uh, elderly, male and female, it reminds me that death is something that can creep up on us very quickly and unexpectedly. Somebody has disturbed the, de the deceased and um, pillaged, perhaps, the coffins. 
Mm. It's one of the oldest things in the book. Mm -hmm. um, breaking into coffins to try and look for buried treasure. I feel that this, this is a tremendous sacrilege. Mm -hmm. I and uh, I feel sorry for the memory of the, these people. This mummy was in, very, in a very good condition, as mm -hmm. we can see from the hand and the head. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this person was undeserving of this. samples that we're going to take uh, to determine if this person is perhaps the famous king of the Congo. We have a new discovery folks that um, may change our, uh, our perspective on this. Uh, my worker here has just discovered that over this arch is what appears to be a chamber with a tunnel that leads a great distance back. I think we need a camera here, folks.